Hey, Bello Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I have 25 bread and butter bolos coming your way. These are items that I bought low and I sold for $35 or less. I pick my items up at estate sales, garage sales, thrift stores, Facebook marketplace, basically anywhere. Um, but these are 35 or less. So they're not big money, but these are things that keep your store, you know, things that are say, selling daily and keep your store like, what's the word I'm trying to figure out here? Um, so that you're constantly having sales. Like if you have all big money items, like sometimes you only have one sale a day, you know? So let's get started. I'm going to tell you where I got it what I paid for it and what it sold for. If you like these types of videos, I have a whole bunch of bread and butter videos. And then I also have big money bolos. Those are the items that I sell for $35 or more. Um, but yeah, we're going to get started here. So thank you for being here. I'm Courtney. If you're new here, um, I hope you like the channel and let me know if you have any questions down in the comments, but we are going to get started. All right. Let me get my screen share up. And the first item we are going to talk about is these turkey earrings. You guys, I was at a garage sale and I saw these and for some reason I picked them up. This is not something I normally picked up, would pick up. I knew it was going to be a bread and butter, but I was actually surprised by how fast they sold. I, I mean, it looks like somebody probably crafted them you know, just stuck some clip-ons. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody probably wanted them for Thanksgiving, but I sold these for a whopping $7, but I think I paid a quarter for them and the buyer was all in for $11 and 15 cents. So they're cute. Uh, I just, I don't know. I picked them up. You guys ever do that? You get home and you're like, why, why did I pick this up? And then it sells and you're like, that's why I picked it up. Okay. Um, let me make sure. Yes. Okay. So these K and Company uh, scrapbook album kits, it doesn't have to be that brand, but I do pretty good with these. I always cross post them to um, Poshmark because the shipping is actually cheaper on Poshmark because these are pretty heavy. Um, but this one actually sold quicker on eBay. I sold this for $15. The buyer was all in for $26.10. Um, I think I picked this up at a garage sale, but. I'm not sure. This little um, rubber stamp is stupendous or stampendous. Stampendous, I think is how you pronounce it. Not really sure. But you guys, I do have a video on the three top stamps, rubber mounted, wood rubber mounted stamps to be on the lookout for. Some can go for hundreds of dollars. So definitely go check out that video. I got this at a garage sale for a quarter. It sold pretty quickly for $15 and the buyer was all in for $20.55. This one happens to be, um, I think it's from Peter Rabbit. Uh, one, I think that's actually the main character, right? I think so. But this one still has like the little barcode on it with the information. That's what's great about stamps is they're really easy to list. Um, I don't think that this one has ever been used. So that probably helped me get a little more also. But I do sell them pre-owned as well. The next item I sold is this Connects Connectors. Um, so a long time ago, I parted out a Screaming Serpent roller coaster. It's a Connect set. If you can find it complete, new in the box, or with all the parts, it's a bolo. Um, I happened to be at the Goodwill and I found a tote full of it and I saw the roller coaster and I was like, I know that I can part this out. What I forgot was how long it takes to separate all of the pieces. It takes forever. Now, am I making decent money? Yes, but I mean, I, I probably spent over an hour sorting. Um, I ended up selling this for $12 and the buyer was all in for $19.62. The roller coaster is a good 20, 25 bucks if I remember correctly. Mine did not come with the little people. That definitely helps the value. Um, but you can completely part this out by pieces just like this. The next item is another set. Um, I think this is actually maybe, I can't remember if this is from the original set. 
like I've done this twice now. I, I forgot how much time it took from the first time, but I sold this lot for $20 and 24 cents and the buyer was all in for 30 71. So um, you have to decide if it's worth your time. I could have parted it out into smaller lots. Um, I think this was the first set that I did. I don't know. Is it worth it? it depends. Um, I'm going to say that when it's all said and done, I'll probably make over $100 on it. So it's probably worth it. But at the time when you're sorting, it does not feel worth it. I will tell you that. Um, okay, this vintage weather vane rooster oval plate. It's a mid-century modern plate. I picked this up in a mystery box from a thrift store. I took a best offer of $16. The buyer was all in for $28.49. Um, I don't normally pick up breakables because I don't like to ship them, but I thought this was pretty cool. And um, it was in a mystery box and I was trying to recoup some of my money from the mystery box. Um, I do have on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel, I unbox those items that I get from the thrift store that are um, mystery boxes. So if you guys like mystery boxes, definitely check that out over on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies. The next item is this vintage little Kittles uh, doll. You guys, these always sell for me. They're a really nice bread and butter item. I did pick this one up at a garage sale. It was like a quarter. It came inside of a little um, vintage like baby carrier cart that I have listed separately, I think for like 40 or 50 bucks. It's, I don't know if it's handmade or I don't think it was handmade because I think I saw another one unless it was like a kit, but it's pretty cool. But I sold this for $18 on best offer and the buyer was all in for $24.16. The next item I sold is this Play School Transformers Rescue Bots Police Station. Um, I sell the Rescue Bots all the time. I find them at garage sales all the time and they do really, really well. Some of them are like 20, 25 bucks. Most of them are 10 to $15, but this is the actual little play set. And this sold for a best offer of 15. The buyer was all in for $23.33 and I got it at a thrift store for a buck. Okay, so I was on the thrift battle on Primetime Treasure Hunters channel and I showed a Marks of Navarone playset. And you guys, I lost this round. I don't know if nobody was paying attention, but this was like the biggest, one of the biggest bolos I've ever found. And I lost this round. Um, but anyway, I think I already mentioned that I lost that round. Go watch the video. Let me know what you think. Um, this is one of the doors and I ended up taking a best offer on just this door for $25. The buyer was all in for $32.24 and I've got about 10 cents in this. So if I remember correctly, it was either two or $3 for the entire play set with all of the pieces but some things were missing, so I decided to part it out. Um, here is another item that sold from that. This is the freestanding flagpole, you guys, from the same set. And this sold for $18.75. The buyer was all in for $24.68. And again, I've got about 10 cents in this. This was just a tremendous find. Um, kind of out of my comfort zone, never sold anything like it, but as soon as I saw it, I just had a really good feeling about it. And the price was definitely right. Um, there's an elevator uh, pole um, or it, it's it's an elevator piece. It's basically just a long, thin piece that um, something fits on so it can go up and down like an elevator. I think I sold that for like 70 or 80 bucks. Um, I do have a video on that on my reseller testing Bolo products. So I'm going to take you over here and show you that channel. Um, on this channel, I mostly test products, but I will do from time to time, like if I part something out, um, I'm doing working live hangouts right now. So basically I'm going on eBay and I'm just listing. And if you guys want to come in and list um, and just talk in the chat, I can answer any questions. I've had some really good questions actually. Sometimes I show you guys what I've listed, like new listings over here, um, but a lot of uh, just product testing. And then I put these into my um, eBay description. 
But this right here is a um, Octonauts that I parted out. If you guys want to learn more about Octonauts, that is a great video. I show you exactly how I parted it all out. Um, there's one more that I want to show you. Uh, it's the one I'm just talking about. I have a video. Okay, right here. I parted out a vintage Guns of Navarone playset. And these are some of the things that I've already sold. So if you want to see some of the other things, and then this caribou set, I parted this out, you guys. If you find one of these and it's incomplete, in this video, I show you how to completely part it out to make the most money. So um, definitely check out that channel, Reseller Testing Bolo Products. Um, it's a great way to learn too, uh, because I just sold this elf. Um, I think I sold it for $70. So I do put Bolo items over here. Some of them are bread and butter. Some of them are big money. But either way, it helps you to learn things to look for. So I'm almost to 1K subscribers. So come on over and subscribe. That would be awesome. And let's see. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, did that. All right. So the next item is this Fisher Price Laugh and Learn toy. Um, these, I think these both came out of a mystery box and I had one and I got another one in a mystery box. So I just made it quantity two and then somebody ended up buying both of them and they were all in for $15 for the two items. And then with shipping and tax, it came to $19.98 and it's like a little rattle dog. I think it goes with a play set. But um, whenever I find these, I scoop them up. They are not big money. They are bread and butter. But somebody is always looking for this item. So it will sell. I think there's a little frog and then there's a little girl dog also that you can look for. Those sell well also. This came out of a mystery box. This is not something I would typically source. Again, I was just trying to make some money back on a box that I had purchased. This ended up selling pretty quick, actually, for $10.00. And the buyer was all in for $17.48. It's a St. Nicholas Square adult apron mom's kitchen. And it's got like a gingerbread print. So, I mean, maybe there's something to aprons. I don't know. Not something I would normally source. That's what I like about mystery boxes. They kind of get me to um, maybe purchase and list something that I wouldn't typically list. The next item is this Octonauts. So I just told you guys on my reseller testing Bolo products, I parted out an Octonauts set. This is one of the items in that video. This sold really quick, batteries not included. Um, I did do a, a video on this right here. So people can come down, they can click on it, they can see how the item works. And I sold this for $30 and the buyer was all in for $38.69. So this goes to the playset. You push the button and it has sound. It talks or whatever. I can't remember exactly what it does, but um, it goes hooks onto the playset. Thirty bucks, you guys, almost forty dollars all in. And um, I picked that up at a garage sale with a huge lot of octonauts. So my cost of goods is probably a dollar. Here is another one from that set, and I ended up taking a best offer of twenty eight dollars on this. The buyer was all in for $36.66, and my cost of goods for this one was about $2. And today I was over on Instagram, and I actually saw where MD Picker, it's MD Picker on Instagram, she also has a YouTube channel, um, was talking about Octonauts. And um, she sells tons of toys also. So I always really enjoy her little Instagram posts. I think they're TikTok posts that she puts on Instagram. Um, so she may be on TikTok also. I don't, I'm not on TikTok. So, um, but definitely check her out because if you like toys, especially because she sells tons of toys. The next item that sold is this orange Pillsbury funny face plastic drink cup. It's from the 1970s. I picked this up at an estate sale for 50 cents and I have footage of that estate sale. I believe it's on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel or this one. And I sold this for $16.50. The buyer was all in for $23.22. If you can find the entire set, that is a bolo. Um, but individually, they still do pretty good. The next item is this little vintage Clay Critters Owl Magnet. Um, I do put Olo. That is the name of my mascot here, Olo. And then we have Snow Low. And this is Brolo. So those are my owls. Uh, 
but I do put Olo in the title of any listing that I have that's an owl. So if anybody's on the hunt for an owl, um, you can type Olo into my store search and it will pull up uh, any owl items that I have listed. It's just kind of something fun I thought I could do to uh, kind of tie it in with my channel. I sold this for $10. The buyer was all in for $15.53 and I believe I got that at a garage sale. The next item is this Play School Victorian Dollhouse Replacement Kitchen. So I bought a Play School Dollhouse. I parted it completely out, you guys. I actually had another one sitting on my porch. It's huge. It's probably not huge, but it's pretty big that I need to um, break it down and part it out because they do pretty well. Unfortunately, the one that I just got more recently it's not in great condition, so I'll definitely make money, but it's not um, like the roof. The roof piece can go for like 40, 45 bucks, but mine is cracked. So, um, but on this dollhouse that I got, I sold it. It was definitely a bolo. Okay, 1875 on this. Buyer was all in for 2641. The next item is this Pampered Chef Meat Tenderizer. I picked this up at a garage sale for three bucks. Took a best offer of 14. The buyer was all in for 26.45. Now this is kind of heavy. Um, so shipping was a little bit more. Here's another Creative Memories album. Um, it's a, uh, I think it's just a photo album. I know people use some of them for scrapbooking also. So I'm not sure. Uh, this sold for $18. The buyer was all in for $30.84. Again, cross post those items to Poshmark because the shipping is going to be cheaper over there. Um, I do use list perfectly to cross post. If you're new to my channel, I do have a demo video that shows you exactly how I do that. I start my items on eBay and then I cross post them to Mercari and Poshmark. Um, if you're interested in checking that out, demo video down below. If you like what you see and you want to try it, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word to get 30% off your first month. Um, I was talking earlier. I'm like, List perfectly, my Dymo and my MacBook Pro computer are three of the best things that I have done for my reselling business. I'm sure there's other things, but those are like the three that come to the top of my mind. Um, so before I got my Dymo printer, I thought you had to buy ink for them. I didn't understand what a thermal printer was. I mean, it was just like way over my head. And it's actually more, I think it's more cost effective to have a Dymo than it is to have a printer using ink. So I absolutely love it. Um, and I use generic labels, so I get them for a pretty good deal. Um, all right, the next one, I was talking about rescue bots. Here is actually one of the rescue bots transformers. So you can see it's a helicopter that turns into like a little rescue bot guy. He sold for $16 and 50 cents. Um, all in $25.39, and I probably got that at a garage sale for less than a buck. This is a Hot Wheels Monster Jam um, toy. It came out of a mystery box, and it sold on auction for $24.99, and the buyer paid shipping, so they were all in for $33.27 on this. This one actually kind of surprised me. There weren't any other ones listed, so I went ahead and did an auction, and I got a bid pretty quickly, so that was cool. The next item that sold is this Chevron Amethyst Chips and Chunks necklace. It is purple. It's 18 inches long. And that's what it looks like. I sold this for $26.24. The buyer was all in for $33.24. Uh, this came out of my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. 344 pounds of jewelry. I've got a whole series on this channel if you guys want to check it out. Some of the videos are older, but it's still a fun series to watch. This came from another thing I parted out. I had a Ninja Turtles playset and it was missing some pieces. I watched a YouTube video to put this thing together thinking it was all there and it was missing pieces. So I took it all back apart and I sold it as replacement pieces. This ladder sold for $10.12 and the buyer paid shipping. So they were all in for $14.97. The next item is this Barbie garment bag shoe organizer. This is, I believe it's vintage. It's a harder to find accessory for a Barbie and it sold for $17. The buyer was all in for $24.69.
The next item, I love picking these up. They are the little Team Umizoomi figures. Uh, they're great for cake toppers or um, they're like this big. So cake topper size. But then the kids can keep them and play with them. So I always pick up smalls because people buy them as cake toppers. That is a great thing to put in the title. I don't think it's actually a cake topper, but it just works for that due to the size, if that makes sense. Um, there was also another thing that I got. I showed it in another video, but it was like a puzzle, but it was a plastic puzzle. And when I was researching it, somebody had cake topper in the title. So somebody apparently like a parent had taken this puzzle, put it together on top of the cake, which is a brilliant idea. So um, that's another thing that's kind of cool that I kind of learned from researching. But this um, I got at a garage sale for a quarter sold it for $15 and the buyer was all in for $20 and 54 cents. So, um, there are three characters that go with this set. I have sold them multiple times. Like I always pick them up. There's also a remote control car that does good. So this is geo. Um, the girl's name, there's a pink girl. What's her name? Geo. I can't think of her name. Is it Millie? Oh, I can't remember. I'm sorry. Uh, the green robot is bought. So definitely be on the lookout for all three. If you do a quick Google search, you'll see them. All right, you guys, that concludes 25 bread and butter bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a decent profit. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, leave me an owl emoji down in the comments to let me know that you made it this far. Um, if you're new to the channel, I hope that you'll subscribe, like, comment, and share. And if you've been here a while, I hope that you'll like, comment, and share. Thanks, you guys, so much. And I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.